later, Lisa Steele shows us just how easy it is to have fresh eggs daily by raising our own chickens. Our next guest is an award-winning journalist, a TV host, and a very busy mother. Here to talk about her new season of CNN's This is Life with Lisa Ling. Please welcome Lisa Ling. Hello, welcome. Lisa. Welcome. Yes. Congratulations on season four. Thank that is you. huge. And your show, it sort of tackles some really gritty, dangerous things sometimes. And, yeah. you know, what do you, people shy away from these things sometimes yeah. too. And what are you hoping people take away from this? Well, our show is kind of unique in that what I try to do with every episode is just provide people with a better level of understanding about how people who might be different from them live and, and think. Um, you know, right now we are living in a time that is so deeply polarized. You yeah. know, there's so much vitriol. People are not talking to each other. And, and what I hope that people will come away with when they watch our show is just a better kind of sense of people who, who may live right next to them or maybe yeah. in their own family but they haven't really known too much about. It's so important yeah. to open that dialogue, isn't it? I think so. I think so. I mean, we're, we're not talking to each other right now. No. And there's just, there's so much tension. And, and, and I think that we need more shows like this that just allow us to, to know each other better. Yeah. Exactly. Well, let's take a look at a clip from this coming season. Okay. Be a productive part of this society. They look at us as if we're terrorists and we're bad and we're not. It's unbelievable that people are living in here. A lot of people may look at me like I'm a bum. I'm just like them, you know? Except I'm living down here. Would you consider yourself an extremist? In a good way, yes. Oh, 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 oh. situations have you ever been scared I'm sure oh yeah there definitely have been times but but I I think of what I do as you know I I go into these places for 10 days max but the people who live under those circumstances they have stay. to do so every day exactly. and so if I can somehow communicate their stories and that's really what we try to do so. it's important yeah. work that you're doing Thanks. and speaking of the journalism element you and your younger sister Laura yeah. have been journalists uh, from a very early age yeah. and you have always said that Connie Chung was sort of yes. a, a mentor for you. What is it about Connie that you found so inspiring? Well, when my sister and I were young, we grew up in a, a community outside of Sacramento, California that wasn't very diverse. We didn't have a lot of, of, of money. So the TV was always on in our house. And I used to have these aspirations of, of being on TV because I thought if I can get on TV, maybe I can have a better life one day. But there was no one who looked like me on TV. Right, you know, we used right. to pretend that we were part of the Brady Bunch family, but it wasn't very convincing <laughs> because, you know, what we look like, um, but there was Connie Chung, right. and at the time, Connie really symbolized all that was elegant Good and view. graceful and, and intelligent, right. and it's funny, if you ask any Asian female journalist of my generation, of we will all cite Connie Chung as our inspiration. She's been an inspiration for so many Yeah, people. she has, and when I started working for The View, um, years and years later, um, I, I, you know, I, I sort of won the seat in this big co-host search. <laughs> Derby. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I got flowers and notes from all these high-profile people, and I got a note from Connie Chung, oh, oh. whom I'd never met before. You, you hadn't at that point. No, oh, okay. no. And she just said, "Congratulations, I'm I'm proud of you." And for me, I mean, it was the most exciting, one of the most exciting do you still things that, that I've ever received. I, of course, I have. Of course, you and, do. And I put it in my cork board. It was one note that I I always kept there, and it was just really really special. Yeah, how special? Well, I bet young, inspiring journalists now say that they inspired to be like you so oh well thank you i appreciate that Absolutely. yeah that must feel really good because it's very true what you say you are now an inspiration for so many not just people but young girls well it's funny when people come up to me and they say i've grown up watching you i'm like thanks for being <laughs> Oh, That's a double-edged sword, yeah, yeah. actually, when you become exactly. an inspiration, Like these it? doctors. I grew up watching them. Like, <laughs> Thank you, I think. <laughs> They're trying to say they appreciate all the hard work yes. you've done. And you you are working very hard and very busy, and so is your husband, yeah. Paul. Doctors, isn't, yes. he, yeah, isn't he an oncologist? He's a, he's an oncologist, and he's also working in biotech. Wow. Oh, so you family. guys, you know, and you have two beautiful, oh, beautiful. daughters. Thank you. I, and with everything you're doing, it's got to be hard to balance all of that. How do you do it? Yeah, balance is just not a word that's in our vocabulary. <laughs> 
either. Good approach. It's really hard. But you know, I feel like everybody is dealing with this right now. I feel yeah. like everybody's mm -hmm. under so much more pressure than than previous generations. Um, but if we didn't have our family with us, um, we wouldn't be able to do it. My mom lives two blocks away. His mom lives two blocks oh, away. Oh, got you. Um, and they're at our house every single day. And it's funny because <laughs> my, my husband once said, you know, should we tell them not to come every day so that we can have a little time, uh, just our family? And I said, you know what? Your mom's 85 years old and my mom's 70 and, and, and they have these young grandkids and it's not gonna be like this forever. And so for me, it's really important that we are able to have our family with us. Mm -hmm. you know? Speaking. And, and we need them. <laughs> and no yeah, kidding, absolutely. right? We all can understand that as parents yes. ourselves. It yeah. takes a village, doesn't it? And speaking of the grandmothers, yes. we've seen some <laughs> social posts of yes. the doting grandmas, including one where it says attack of yes. the hashtag doting <laughs> the, the grandmothers. The hashtag is actually attack of the doting grandmas. <laughs> And, you are um, not kidding. And and this is what my home is like. I mean, we're at a restaurant here, but this is what my home is like every night. They come over, both of them, at about 5 o'clock when I'm most exhausted, yes. and they just kind of take over and so are, nice. are, are the doting. You are so lucky <laughs> to have that. It's very special because not everyone does have me, you know, I, grandmothers nearby, and it's so helpful and yeah. great for them and the kids. That that fact is never lost on me, you know, that yeah. we are, we're so lucky to have them so close. And I'm sure the grandmas were right there for your little girl's first birthday party she just you know had yes. turned one recently and you had a very special party for her right we did so my husband's Korean and the first year birthday is a huge to do it's called a toll mm -hmm. um, and we all are kind of obligated to dress in oh, traditional wow. Korean right. attire my husband oh, look at that. The, the one Korean guy did did, did not did, did, did get on board what's up with the that Chinese one has to <laughs> be the dutiful Korean wife um, but oh. my four-year-old Jet actually thought the party was for her oh. so she ended up blowing out my one-year-old <laughs> daughter's candle Aww. and everything and it's kind of fun because <laughs> they put out um, a string which means long life they put out cash which means uh, prosperous yes. um, and a couple other things and they have the baby kind of crawl and the one the baby chooses will kind of determine the rest of her life so both my you. girls chose the the pen which means scholarly Ooh. so yeah it's, it's funny because all the Asians are like pick the money, <laughs> no, pick the money. <laughs> Do you want to redo? Maybe you want to do that again? Fortunately, they couldn't, yeah. But we're, oh. we're happy with the scholarly thing. What a special day. What a yeah. special day. And thank you so much thank for joining you. us, Thank you for having Lisa. me. And this is Life with Lisa Ling airs Sundays at 10 p.m. on CNN. Get more information about Lisa at hallmarkchannel.com and on her website. Yes, and don't go anywhere because next we have Shirley. I'm going to show you how to use those leaves that are falling from the tree to protect your garden from the freeze.